It's Thursday. That means it's time now for another Town of Edson update. Hopefully you're having yourself a great day so far. Starting off with COVID-19 numbers. Still zero active cases within the town of Edson and the Yellowhead area. Good news. we got to keep up those efforts, Edson. We are seeing increasing cases throughout the province of Alberta, anywhere between 100 and 120 new cases each and every day. Uh, Dr. Hinshaw has spoken about where those cases are being acquired. Now, those are not necessarily being acquired out in the community, but most of them are in social gatherings. So parties, uh, family gatherings, retirements, weddings, uh, religious gatherings. Uh, so if you are having people over, just make sure that you have uh, the appropriate sanitization uh, protocols in place. Keep those physical distancing requirements in play as well, because really those are the most effective ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19. That's you've been doing a great job so far. Our numbers reflect that, and I want to thank everybody for their efforts to date. Uh, so far in Alberta, uh, to date, we had 15,191 cases. Those numbers will be updated once again this afternoon. Um, but there's certainly a concern that we are seeing an uptake in the amount of cases across the province. Our peak was 2,993 on April 30th. Uh, so right now at 1,585 cases across the province, we're still much less than that, but uh, we want to keep it that way. So keep up those efforts, Edson, and uh, let's uh, continue to prevent the spread. Town Council on Tuesday had uh, a special guest, Staff Sergeant Christian Delisle. He's new to our community. He takes over from uh, Staff Sergeant Peter King, who uh, left uh, last summer. And uh, he joined us a few months ago and uh, came to Council to introduce himself and to update us on crime in the community with uh, uh, quarter two statistics. Um, so I'm going to run through those. Uh, the Edson uh, Detachment has a total of 23 RCMP officers. Uh, 17 of those are municipal officers, so those are officers paid for by the town of Edson. Um, our detachment works as one group, so if there is a call out in the in the rural areas, town members will go as well. Provincial members will respond to uh, calls within town. Um, but for the purposes of uh, financial accounting, we pay for 17. The province uh, pays for the remaining uh, six officers at the detachment. And then, of course, we do have some specialized services located upstairs, such as the integrated traffic unit. Uh, we also have identification services and other uh, specialized services over and above those numbers I just talked about. Now, when it comes to uh, crime statistics, um, Staff Sergeant Delisle has uh, been in a number of different communities. He's uh, been in Drayton Valley, Tasquin, Musquechies, uh, Rocky Mountain House, worked at K Division for a while. And uh, he commented that Edson is a very safe community. Uh, we're very much uh, similar to other sized communities. Uh, and we see a lot less violent crime within our community uh, compared to others that he's been into. So that makes Edson a, a safer community despite what uh, perceptions might be out there. Uh, we do see a lot of nuisance crime, uh, a lot of petty crime. Uh, which obviously is uh, annoying and concerning to uh, residents, um, but they are not of a serious nature that you might see in some other communities. Uh, when you come to uh, crime stats, I'm just going to highlight uh, some areas here. So um, there's various categories that get reported on. Many of them have seen decreases. Uh, total persons crime are up by 5%. Um, but that is due to uh, the uh, category of uttering threats. Now, uttering threats is up 125% uh, from eight cases in Q2 of 2019 to 18. But most of those cases are domestic situations where family members are get, get into an uh, argument or a fight and the police are called. Doesn't mean charges are laid, but the, a call or a complaint is made. So it's not a community-wide problem. They're isolated to uh, family situations. Um, so overall, uh, in this category, we're doing well. We've seen a 100% uh, decrease uh, in kidnappings. Uh, we've also seen um, stable numbers with assaults uh, remaining at 29 uh, for uh, 2020. Uh, we did see uh, one uh, event uh, related to homicides and offenses related to death. Now, I want to talk about this because you're going to see that and you're going to say, oh my, there's been a homicide uh, within the town of Edson. That is not the case. This has to do with a situation where a gun was fired uh, because somebody thought uh, an individual was uh, stealing from their property, but um, it was coded to that category, but it's not a homicide. Um, it, uh, it is just a gunshot that was uh, fired. Uh, total property crimes are at uh, a 0% increase, uh, so very consistent 
uh, from 2019 to 2020, we've seen a uh, 62% decrease in theft of motor vehicles, a 43% uh, decrease uh, of theft under 5,000, a 41% uh, decrease in fraud. Uh, but the area that stands out is a 133% increase in break and enters. Uh, from 27 cases in Q2 of 2019 to 63 in 2020. Once again, uh, looking deeper into that number, uh, many of those are related to one individual who no longer lives in the community. Um, Staff Sergeant Delisle believes those numbers are going to be significantly reduced in uh, the quarter that we're in now because that individual is no longer in Edson. Crime is very cyclical, so somebody is out of prison, we see numbers go up. If they go back into prison, uh, numbers go down. Uh, really, it's a small group of people that cause a lot of havoc uh, within the community. So uh, while that number is concerning on the surface, uh, there are, uh, I guess, glimmers of hope that uh, these numbers are going to decrease. But overall, property crime uh, remaining stable at 227 cases in 2019 to 226 in Q2 of 2020. Other criminal code offenses like uh, uh, disturbing the peace and failing to comply uh, down 66%. Uh, we've seen a 6% decrease in drug offenses. Um, uh, the one area that is a concern is the amount of mental health calls uh, at Star CMP are responding to a 50% increase um, from 2019 to 2020. Uh, obviously a concern. Uh, I launched the Homelessness Addictions Task Force um, and Mental Health Addictions uh, Task Force uh, last year. We've been meeting on a regular basis to deal with addictions and mental health because a lot of those, a lot of the issues when it comes to crime are related to mental health and addictions issues. Um, so finding treatment options, working with community organizations. We have a number of organizations that work in this area. Uh, so collaborating and uh, dealing with that, uh, lobbying the provincial government for more mental health and addiction support in the community. Um, obviously, this is a concern for police. Staff Sergeant Delisle is going to be involved in our homelessness and addictions task force meetings and working together to uh, deal with that issue uh, within our community. But once again, overall, the numbers show uh, decreases in most categories. And as Staff Sergeant Delisle says, Edson is uh, a safe community. Uh, we are going to post a link to the stats uh, uh, in the in the comment section below and you can have a look at the numbers but once again uh, there are some reasons for some of those increases that I talked about earlier. Uh, I'm going to wrap things up here this video is getting probably a little bit longer than I, uh, I would have hoped but I thought it was important to run through those uh, numbers. Uh, I know crime is obviously a concern to all residents and we all need to work together to keep our community safe. Uh, Staff Sergeant uh, Delisle will be having a virtual town hall uh, hopefully next month where you can ask questions directly and he can uh, answer any questions that you may have. On that note, have a great day Edson and a fantastic weekend. Uh, once again, if there are any cases of COVID-19, we will update you uh, as, uh, as that information becomes available. Otherwise, we'll have a further update for you next Thursday.